Good afternoon, Home Choir. You're very welcome aboard HMS Home Choir today as we are in the company of Gilbert and Sullivan and we're going to learn not one, not two, but three new songs from the HMS Pinafore. And I'm very glad to have you all aboard. I hope you've all taken your sea legs so uh, we're not going to have any mess. I, I, for one, am never sick at sea. Never. Well, hardly ever as we'll discover shortly. It's fantastic to see you all. As I say, I hope you've had a good few days. Uh, we've, it's been uh, it's been fairly quiet here, I suppose. Had a little trip to a tea party on Wednesday. Very nice tea party. I'm not going to name drop, though, as far as people were, were mentioning on Twitter. I would never do such a thing. When I was talking to my mate, Ed. No. <laughs> of course, we were at the Royal Garden Party, everyone, on Wednesday. We had a wonderful time. And uh, I'll just show you a couple of photos because people will be asking. And no, I'm not going to show photos of the Royals. I did that all on Twitter. And um, it, it got a little bit out of hand. Thousands of people looking at these photos. So this is far more about the lovely time we had at Buckingham Palace. And yes, we did, we did go and claim. There we are outside the palace, just waiting to go in. Anna looking marvellous and me looking rightly like her security uh, and just clutching the invitation in my hand and uh, just hoping we don't get turned back at the gate. So it all went well. Uh, there is the place itself. This Actually, this this is after we came out. We weren't allowed to take photos on the forecourt, though, of course, everyone was doing so. Uh, and then this is this is the back end of, of Buckingham Paris. This is the Queen's back garden, if you like, ladies and gentlemen. Lots and lots of people. Uh, milling around all in the most out, um, unbelievable outfits. Um, the hats, ladies, uh, the hats we saw were just out of this world. Um, and we had a, a wonderful time chatting with people. And then we got to walk around the garden itself. And it's absolutely stunning. I know many of you will have had a chance to visit when the Queen opened the gardens uh, a year or several years ago now. Um, but uh, to say it is a, a beautiful garden is an understatement. It's just exquisite and huge, absolutely huge. We were walking around and just saying that were it not for the sound of traffic, fairly distant, to be honest, you could swear you, you're in the middle of Dorset or in the middle of the countryside because it is just absolutely lovely. Uh, there is an enormous urn which was gifted uh, to uh, to the uh, to the king at, um, at the Battle of Waterloo, after the Battle of Waterloo and some ducks. So we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you to everyone who sent us lovely messages and tweets and emails, and it really was splendid. So thank you so much again. Uh, Glenn says, great excuse to dress up. Absolutely. I think it's uh, it's kind of necessary. <laughs> Bearing in mind that, that when you get invited, I'm sure you all will. All right, just keep an eye on the post. Um, you get sent a long list of things that you have to make sure are, are right. And there's a very strict dress code and um and you have to make sure you've got the right documentation and so on and um anna and i were, were remarking given that the there's a heavy police presence as i'm sure you can imagine there would be um that that you know they're the nicest policemen you've ever met all holding massive great big guns all very smiley have we had a nice day oh yes definitely definitely had a lovely day no it was brilliant and uh just a lovely opportunity to spend a day with Anna and of course we were there with Mark Strawn and Kathy um, so it was a, a fabulous day so thank you everyone. Now look we've got lots of fun to have today on Home Choir Back to Earth with a bump or perhaps with a splash as we're going to be singing uh, four numbers from Pinafore. Now one of them of course is uh, Little Buttercup which we know but we're also going to look at three of my absolute favourites. Now if you can uh, grab yourself the PDF of the score. Don't print the whole thing, because goodness me, it's a huge, huge work. But we're going to be looking at um, uh, the, uh, where is it? Song number two, which is on page 12. I'll give you the page numbers as we go through. We're going to be looking at song number four, which is I Am the Captain of the Pinafore and a Right Good Captain 2. We are going to look at When I Was a Lad which is song number nine, that's page 45 in the score, and a British tart, which is page 52, and that's song number 10. So lots of songs to learn. Now, there are harmony parts, as I'm sure you all know, uh, and if you are a tenor, a bass, or if you're feeling adventurous, do feel free to read along with the harmonies, but I'm going to teach everyone as if it's a unison song and we'll all sing together. So much fun to be had, and uh, great to see all of you. Now then, just let me please... Page numbers are below the video. Brilliant. So, checking that everything's working. Do we have the magnificent acoustic? We do. Oh, yes. Mu 
much fun is on the horizon. Ahoy. Let's see. Do we have Buttercup? Is she in the building? Oh, she is. It's a bit loud, though. Let's turn down Buttercup. Marvellous as she is. Let's check the orchestra's warmed up for the Captain on the Pinafore. Oh, we're going to have fun. Uh, when I was a lad... When I was a lad, it's a particularly good, good example of the patter song that GNS is famous for. Gilbert, of course, famously was a lawyer. Uh, and so an awful lot, by training, I should say, an awful lot of his uh, funnier lyrics are poking fun at the establishment. And that's a particularly good one. And then to finish, a British tar. Fantastic. Lovely. Oh, I need a fade out on that. Bear with me, everyone. That's why it's always important to do the sound checks. There we go. So, good. We're all here. I've got my drink. I shall have a sip of coffee. Purchased, of course, from uh, from Mrs. Cripps' shop. Buttercup shop. Tea and coffee. Soft, to soft Tommy and succulent chops she has. And pretty polonies and excellent peppermint drops, as we will shortly discover. Well, we've got a few minutes yet before we're going to start singing, so allow me to welcome you all officially to our Home Choir broadcast. It's great to see you. I hope you're having a good Friday, wherever you are. And um, you might hear some bangs and crashes coming from outside, and that's because my next-door neighbour, this is the chap who had a hot tub installed during lockdown. Uh, he's having some scaffolding put up because he's having a big roof, uh, a roof con loft conversion and having new rooms put up there. And I have to say, uh, it, it, the plans look amazing. And I'm looking at them going, hmm, new studio. It'll be a while. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take us a while to save up. But, oh, I wouldn't mind a nice new studio, ladies and gentlemen, with some room, some space, rather than the room covered here, which is becoming increasingly full of music, equipment, tech, uh, and and lovely toys. Now, they see the toys don't really take up that much room. They add such a lot of charm. Um, so those of you watching later on, great to see you all. I hope you've all had a good Friday. Thank you, as always, for making Home Choir part of your day. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed recently. We're up to 30,000. No, 30,000, I wish. 3,030. 3030 as of the time of this broadcast, which is fabulous. Let's keep pushing on, see if we can't get to 30,000 at some point soon. Hello to everyone who's here live, but not in the live chat. Hello, as always, to Helen and Bill in Berkeley. I hope you folks are having a good good morning. Uh, hello to Sally and Annie and to Maureen and to Sue and Tony. Hello to Charlotte and to Nikki. Hello to Anne and to Linda. Hello to Val. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Hugh, uh, Hugh N. And to everyone. And then hello, everyone who's here. People are asking, where the photos of Ben and Anna at the garden party? Well, I'll show you them again in a minute, Christine. Lovely to see you, though. Let's pop out the list and see who's here. So, hello, Alison. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Biddy. Hello, Breda. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carolyn. Hello to Kathy. Hello, Christine and Terry. Thank you for the lovely photos. I'll show you the photos of us at the party in a moment. Hello to Dave and Jill. Uh, hello to Diane. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Emma. Uh, hello, Jill. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Gloria. Hello, Gina, who's watching later. Uh, hello, James. Hello, Jill. Hello, Judy. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Marie. Hello, Mary. Hello, Michael. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Paul and Nancy. Hello, Rona. Bonjour, Suzanne. Hello, Terry. All right, Terry. And hello, Valda. Oh, and Virginia as well. Just popping in at the bottom of my list. And let me just quickly scan down. Hello to Anne. Great to see you as well. Now, I know we've got some people here who have a naval background, a nautical background. Uh, and so I do hope you'll sing particularly loudly today. And, uh, <laughs> and of course, you will understand an awful lot of the uh, the humour and the fun that Gilbert and Sullivan had with the Navy in this one. Um, now, you see, my, my grandfather on my father's side uh, was a gunnery lieutenant during the war, served on board the HMS Tannat side. Uh, the only ship that fired its guns uh, off the uh, off the coast of Slapton when it was attacked by a U-boat back uh, in the 1940s. And so uh, the, there's quite a lot of naval background in my family. Um, not that any of it's rubbed off on me, I have to say. But I think I, I, I sing a good Captain Corcoran. So that's that's my role today. He's a very polite captain, as you'll discuss. He never, never gets sick at sea. What, never? No, never. And he also never swears. So just like me then. Uh, so <laughs> let me see who else is here. Hello to Mike. Good afternoon. Hello to you. 
Oh, wonderful. Hello, Chris. Lovely to have you with us as well. Great stuff. So for those of you that weren't here right at the start, let me show those photos again of us uh, outside. There we go. Let's pop this up on screen. So there we are waiting to go in. Now, there was an enormous queue. Uh, I guess about 2,000 people at the party. I mean, that's a huge number of people. It's nearly two-thirds of the subscribed members of Home Choir. You know, massive crowd. Absolutely massive. Um, so as we were moving along the queue, we we're trying to take opportunities to stop and take a photo. So there we are, just before we went into the palace grounds. And then, of course, there is the palace itself and the back uh, back garden there. It's absolutely enormous. Huge tents set up serving wonderful wonderful food delicious cakes um everyone had at least four or five little cakes lovely sandwiches uh, no coffee served though that was the that was the thing i was, they said would you like tea or do you like uh, apple juice or um uh, lemon barley is, is there any coffee oh no coffee to be served at the garden party sir so there we are everyone not allowed to drink coffee at the garden party it's probably to stop people behaving in a silly way well, I've already had a couple of coffees, so there's no such guarantees for us this afternoon. And in fact, it is, it's Fun Friday, so it's time to be very, very silly indeed in the company of the great Gilbert and Sullivan. Do enjoy this afternoon, everyone. I hope, those of you that perhaps are on the fence about GNS, I hope today, well, I hope it puts a smile on your face and makes you think, you know what, I might give it a try. Now, consider popping up in the chat if you're watching uh, and you've never done so before maybe make today the day that you pop up and say hello to this lovely crowd uh, if you're watching later on as always lots of love to you make sure you've got drinks everyone stay hydrated uh, particularly on board ship uh, otherwise we'll have to have you keel hauled let's get started shall we everyone now i'm going to give you an f major chord we're going to sing home choir as we go into the start of the broadcast so nice deep breath everyone and here we go uh, Oh, 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 choir. Wonderful singing, everyone. Thank you. And a very warm welcome to our HMS Pinafore special. You are all very welcome on board and you all have first class cabins, of course. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to start with I'm Called Little Buttercup. And then we're going to learn, as I say, not just one, not two, but three new songs uh, bringing the total of our Gilbert and Sullivan output to about 12 numbers, actually, across the various broadcasts we've done. Uh, so we'll learn I am the captain of the Pinafore, When I Was a Lad, and A British Tar. All of them are fantastic songs. Just to warn you, they will all get stuck in your head. Consider yourselves warned. Uh, so let's just have a look at what we've got coming up for the rest of this week and next week. So, of course, we've got the Sacred Sing on Sunday, something completely different to today, of course. We're going to have the Contique de Genre Scene. We're going to have Purcell's Come Ye Sons of Art and Handel's Alasha Kyopianga. Two of those tracks, of course, sung by you. Uh, next week, we're going to sing the Dark-Eyed Sailor, and we've managed to find a copyright-free version of that piece. Uh, so it's Vaughan Williams' arrangement. Again, we'll learn it as a unison piece, but those of you that want to practice your sight singing, uh, or perhaps even know Vaughan Williams' arrangement of it, we'll have the sheet music for you and a special home choir performance. On Wednesday, something super duper. Uh, we're going to learn the Confutatis from Mozart's Requiem, uh, a fantastic piece full of fire and brimstone, uh, made famous, of course, by Amadeus. And then Fun Friday next week, we'll have the best of home choir. So we'll have the Cat Duet, we'll have Eyes the Birthday by, um, we'll have the Laughing Choir and more. So an uh, opportunity to really enjoy our mutual talents, everyone. So lots to look forward to there. Now, don't forget, Sing and Send is back in the week of June the 6th. So it's actually going to be June the 8th will be our first session. And we'll be learning the Schubert Ave Maria. More on that, of course, in our newsletter, along with details of Messiah Week, which is coming up not next week, but the week after. We won't have any normal home choir broadcast that week. So no 2 p.m.s, no Sacred Sing. But we will be on on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m. UK time, teaching the Hallelujah Chorus. And then on Sunday, June the 5th, we are going to be live from College Green here in Bristol for the Hallelujah Flash Mob. So although you won't have your four regular half hour slots, you're actually going to get more like six hours of home choir in Messiah Week. So looking forward to that. And all the details of that will, of course, be on the newsletter. So if you're not yet signed up, please, please go to our website, homechoir.org. Click the button at the top for newsletter sign up. Fill in the form. Don't forget to put your birthday and you're done. All right, everyone. So great to see everyone. Hello to Anna. Lovely to have you with us today. Hello to everyone who's joined us. Hello, Stuart. Uh, let me just quickly scan the list so people don't feel I've missed them off. Well, it's wonderful to have all of you with us and do hope you enjoy. Lots of koalas. I shall explain the koalas. 
when we get to Confutatis. I'll even download the video to show those of you who don't know where the koalas come from. But I think we should get started as we have to uh, set off before we miss the tide. So can I invite you all please to be upstanding? Thank you very much indeed. And let's roll our shoulders around a little bit. Lovely. And then roll them back the other way. Oh, splendid. Oh, crunch, 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 crunch. And then bring the shoulders up to your ears, please. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders fall and relax. <sighs> splendid. And just some deep breaths. And just allow yourself to, to relax. Give yourself permission, everyone. You're reading the comments. Everyone's got a busy life at the moment. Some people aren't feeling very well. Some people are a bit stressed about things they've got coming up because they're getting over illness. I'm just saying to all of you, dear Jill, don't worry about the competition. What will be will be just as long as you're getting better. Emma, likewise, the fact you've not been um, feeling great, don't worry about recording. Just enjoy life. I mean, it really is. It's all about that, isn't it? I'm just going to roll our head around, everyone. People are talking about splicing the main brace. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Terry says, if you show us the ko koala video, I won't be able to sing for laughing. That's the point. That's absolutely the point. So let's do some singing, shall we, everyone? Let's have an acoustic and we're going to hum together. Nice deep breath. And, and again. And an ooh. Indeed. Now I glance at the comments. Breda's having surgery today. Breda, all our very best to you. Lots and lots of love. And I uh, hope you uh, hope the surgery goes, of course, absolutely flawlessly and that you have a full and swift recovery. And we will all be thinking of you. And uh, if you're able to, let us know how things go later on. But lots of love to you. Um, and hello to those who have joined us in the last few minutes. Hello, Nesta. How lovely to welcome you. And uh, just lots of love to everyone today. Judy's asking koalas. After this broadcast, not now, after the broadcast, put in Confutatis Koala into Google and watch the video. It is worth it. It's wonderful. But don't watch it yet because you'll miss the first song. Uh, now, actually, before we sing the first song, we have some birthdays. So it is Barbara G's birthday today and it is uh, Sue L's birthday tomorrow. So to Barbara and Sue, many happy returns of the day. Let's sing to Barbara and Sue. After two, one, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Barbara and Sue. Happy birthday to you. Fantastic. And many many happy returns of the day to you both now then michael says tarantara that's okay, that's another one on the list to do the chorus of peers at some point but first well as i say today it's all about hms pinafore um a, a really very very popular one of the most popular of all of gilvan sullivan's operettas and if you're not familiar with gilbert and sullivan they were of course a very very famous uh duo a bit like you know Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice and Rodgers and Hammerstein, they worked together on a number of little follies, fun little operettas. And uh, I think Gilbert was, was, the, was the one who saw them for the comedic potential. Sullivan, the composer, of course, always wanted to be taken seriously uh, as a composer, found the collaboration a little bit frustrating. And a couple of times they split up as a, as a partnership duo, but actually they never worked better than the, when they were working together. And Pinafore was their first big hit. So we're going to sing, first of all, from that uh, fantastic piece on page 12 of the vocal score, which you'll find in the description today. We're going to sing uh, I'm Called Little Buttle, but, Buttercup, 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 which is sung by Mrs. Cripps. You've got to imagine uh, a lady of a certain age um, who's often very heavily made up and made to look slightly disheveled 
um, walking around singing uh, of, of the fact that she has this shop and she can't understand why people don't shop at it. So this is I'm Called Little Buttercup and do everyone, do please enjoy. Here we go. I'm called Little Buttercup, dear Little Buttercup, though I could never tell why. But still I'm called Buttercup, poor Little Buttercup, sweet Little Buttercup I. I've Snuff and Tobacky and excellent Jackie, I've scissors and watches and knives. I've ribbons and laces to set off the faces of pretty young sweethearts and wives. I've treacle and toffee, I've tea and I've coffee, soft tommy and succulent chops. I've chickens and conies and pretty polonies and excellent peppermint drops. Then buy of your buttercup, dear little buttercup, sailors should never be shy. So buy of your buttercup, poor little buttercup, come of your buttercup, buy. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. So we sing together from I've Snuff and Tobacco. Here we go. I've snuff and tobacco and excellent Jackie. I've scissors and watches and knives. I've ribbons and laces to set off the faces of pretty young sweethearts and wives. I've treacle and toffee, I've tea and I've coffee, soft tommy and succulent chops. I've chickens and conies and pretty polonies and excellent peppermint drops. Then buy of your buttercup, dear little buttercup, sailors should never be shy. So buy of your buttercup, poor little buttercup, come of your buttercup. And swing, everyone. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Beautifully sung and beautifully acted. Some wonderful, wonderful uh, emojis. And uh, James has said, thank you. You'll make a large flask of coffee next time you visit Buckingham Palace. Well, go and see Buttercup, because apparently it's excellent. Now then, let's have a look at our first new song today. And this one is called I Am the Captain of the Pinafore. You'll find this on starting on page 22 of the vocal score, which is linked in the description. Please don't print all of this, ladies and gentlemen. If you can, look at it on the screen, or if you have your own copy, this is uh, start, start with the recit in song number four. Okay, now this one is a bit of call and response, as many Gilbert and Sullivan songs are. Now, I'm going to take the part of Captain Corcoran. You are very, very welcome to sing with me. And the rest of you, I'd like you to sing loudly and raucously as the part of the gallant crew. And you might think, oh, we, we've been cast as ruffians. No, the whole point of the pinafore is this is a very, very polite ship. And everyone's very polite to each other and say, always says please when an order is given. And that's one of the key points of the pinafore. Now, the captain comes out and he sings... I am the captain of the pinafore. And everyone sings, and a right good captain to listen. Okay, you all need to agree that I am the captain of the pinafore. So let's sing together. I'll start. I am the captain of the pinafore, and a right good captain too. Very nice. I then sing, you're very, very good, and be it understood, I command a right good crew. And you then sing, we're very, very good, and be it understood, he commands a right good crew. Listen again. Now, if that's too low, go up to the octave. So we're very, very good. We're very, very good, and be it understood, he commands a right good crew. Lovely. Of course, whichever octave suits you. 
Now, Corcoran continues. Though related to a peer, I can hand reef and steer, or ship a sail for her G. I am never known to quail at the fury of a gale, and I'm never, never sick at sea. And you then all sing. Let's put the words up on screen. You'll go, what never? And I go, no, never. What never? And I sing, hardly ever. You sing, he's hardly ever sick at sea. So let's just practice that. Okay, I sing, as I'm never, never sick at sea. You sing, what never? No, never. What never? And then I sing, hardly ever. He's hardly ever sick at sea. Very nice. And then we all sing together. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the hardy captain of the pinafore. Listen to that tune again. Give three cheers and one cheer more for the hardy captain of the pinafore. Okay, we then carry on and sing. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. Let me play that slowly. So this, obviously, some of you will need to do some octave leaping in order to feel comfortable here. If you do have the score, feel free to put harmonies in. Let's do that slowly, the last line. Give three cheers and one cheer more. Ready? One, two. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. So let's go back and let's just sing from He's Hardly Ever Sick at Sea because, of course, the second verse all uses the same music. So let's go from What Never, No Never. Uh, never, never sick at sea. What never... No, never. What, never? Hardly ever. He's hardly ever sick at sea. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the hardy captain of the pinafore. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. Fantastic. We then sing the second verse. I do my best to satisfy you all, and with you who we're quite content. You're exceedingly polite, and I think it's only right to return the compliment. We're exceedingly polite, and he thinks it's only right to return the compliment. Bad language or abuse I never, never use, or whatever the emergency. Though bother it, I may occasionally say I never use a big, big D. And you sing, what never? No, never. What never? Well, hardly ever. Hardly ever swears a big, big D. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the well-bred captain of the pinafore. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Now, as I say, the score is in the description. If you want to try, particularly tenors and basses, uh, sing along with some of the very simple harmonies, please do. But otherwise, I think we should get on board and sing. So here, everyone, is the captain of the pinafore. Everyone, please. To attention, if you don't mind. I am the captain of the pinafore. You're very, very good, and be it understood, I command a right good crew. We're very, very good, and be it understood, he commands a right good crew. Though related to a peer, I can hand reef and steer and ship a salvage. I am never known to quail at the fury of a gale, and I'm never, never sick at sea. What's never? No, never. What's never? Well, hardly ever. He's hardly ever sick at sea. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the hardy captain of the pinafore. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Stand to attention, if you please. I do my best to satisfy you all, and with you we're quite content. You're exceedingly polite, and I think it only right to return the compliment. We're exceedingly polite, and he thinks it's only right to return the compliment. Bad language or abuse, I never, never use whatever the emergency. Though Beethoven, I may occasionally say, I never use a big, big G. What's never? No, never. What's never? <laughs> Hardly ever. Hardly ever was a big, big G. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the well-bred captain of the pinafore. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the captain of the pinafore. Very good. Very good. Standard ease, ladies and gentlemen, standard ease.
very nice indeed, ladies and gentlemen. As I say, I never swear. I only ever say Beethoven. And if you don't believe me, check the forum for Choir of the Earth, because that's absolutely what they believe. <laughs> now, well done. Let's move on and sing our next new song. And this is an example I said uh, earlier on of a patter song. And this is Gilbert really working at the very, very top of his game, using his immense gift for language to craft very, very biting a very, very witty commentary on the state of uh, of society. And so this one, I'm going to teach you the first verse, everyone. You're very welcome to sing with me. Uh, this is uh, Sir Joseph, who is the admiral, uh, who, who is the uh, uh, basically the, the, the person in charge, the ruler of the Queen's Navy. And this is the story about how he got to be the ruler of the Queen's Navy. OK, so we sing... <laughs> Umcha, and he sings. When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. So this is that. Sing together. When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. And then I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. Listen again. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. And then you sing, he polished up the handle of the big front door. So you echo at that point. All right, so let's run into that. When I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. He polished up the handle of the big front door. And then I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Listen. Nice nautical tune. Let's sing that together. One, two. I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. And you sing. He polished up the handle so carefully that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Okay, we get properly nautical. Listen to that. Okay, let's sing that together. He polished up that handle. One, two. He polished up the handle so carefully that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Fantastic. There are six verses, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, well, if you ever sat with your career's guidance officer or counsellor at school and uh, spoke to them about what you wanted to do for a job, well, here is a career path that you can't argue with. Here is When I Was a Lad by Sir Joseph. I'm going to get particularly crusty for this one, I think. Here we go. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> when I was a lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor, and I polished up the handle of the big front door. He polished, polished up, up the, the handle of the big front door. I polished up that handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He polished up the handle so carefully that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Verse 2. As office boy, I made such a mark that they gave me the post of a junior clerk. I served the writs with a smile so bland, and I copied all the letters in a big round hand. He copied all the letters in a big round hand. I copied all the letters in a hand so free that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. He copied all the letters in a hand so free that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. In serving writs I made such a name that an articled clerk I soon became. I wore clean collars and a brand new suit for the pass examination at the Institute. For the pass examination at the Institute. And that pass examination did so well for me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy. The pass examination did so well for me that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Of legal knowledge I acquired such a grip that they took me into the partnership And the junior partnership I ween was the only ship I ever had seen The only ship I ever had seen But that kind of ship so suited me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Navy But that kind of ship so suited me that now he is the ruler of the Queen's Navy Verse 5 I grew so rich that I was sent by a pocket baller into Parliament. I always voted at my party's call, and I never thought of thinking for myself at all. He never thought of thinking for himself at all. 
I thought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. We thought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Navy. Some advice in this last verse. Now, landsmen all, whoever you may be, if you want to rise to the top of the tree, if your soul isn't fettered to an office stool, be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea. And you all may be rulers of the Queen's Navy. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea. And you all may be rulers of the Queen's Navy. Sound careers guidance there from Sir Joseph, indeed. So I do hope you all enjoyed seeing that bit of fun with me. <laughs> and for those of you in particular of uh, a naval nautical background, I'm sure this is uh, this is hitting home. How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh, some interesting comments there in the chat. Well, lovely to see. You. Thank you so much, everyone. Ben's a fantastic actor. Well, uh, from your words, from your uh, mouths to Spielberg's ears, as far as I'm concerned. Cheers, everyone. Ah oh dear. So we have time to learn just one more. And this again is such a, a well known tune. There are so many. Um, they're, they're, we're going to have to have another Pinafore special at some point because I haven't been able to include uh, I'm the Monarch of the Sea. Haven't been able to include Sir Joseph's Barge's scene. Sir Joseph's Barge's scene. Dum -ba -dum 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 -dum. There's so many great tunes from Pinafore. But this one. Well, we've got to include a British tar, everyone. A British tar. So you'll find this one on page 52. And this is sung by a trio, uh, a carpenter, who's the bass, the bosun, who is a uh, baritone, and by Ralph Rafe, who is the, uh, the young tenor and the hero. And then everyone else comes in and sings uh, very quickly and answers them. Okay, so you'll find this on page 52. And the intro introduction goes something like this. sing in unison but please do feel free to jump around the octaves as we sing a british tar is a soaring soul as free as a mountain bird listen again okay we then sing his energetic face should be ready to resist listen He dropped down the octave for those who are sort of the lower voice persuasion. His energetic fist. His energetic fist should be ready to resist. And then a dictatorial word. We then start to sing with the bosun and Ralph. His nose should pant and his lips should curl. His cheeks should flame and his brow should fall. His bosom should heave and his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. Okay, so follow that along. If you're following on the score, I'm kind of combining the two lines. So it's the middle line and the top line of the score. And if you're just following along on the words, well, then just sing it in unison with me. His nose should pant, everyone. Ready? And his nose should pant and his lips should curl. His cheeks should flame and his brow should fall. His bosom should heave and his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knock down below. So that's the solo part. And then the chorus comes in. His nose should pant and his lips should curl. His cheek should flame and his brow should fill. His bosom should heave and his blood should glow. His fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. Okay, listen to that. It's low A major scale. Let's sing. His nose should pant, but this is the chorus version. His nose should pant and his lip should curl His cheek should flame and his brow should fill His bosom should heave and his heart should glow And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow Fantastic. Then there's a little bit of instrumental Then the second verse Well, it's identical musically until the very, very end So when the chorus comes in His foot should stamp and his throat should growl His hair should twirl and his face should scowl His eyes should flash and his breast protrude And this should be his customary attitude We then sing His Attitude, his attitude, his attitude. And 
you can make up harmonies there because uh, they're a very polite ship and no one's going to tell you off for singing your wrong note. All right, everyone, let's sing it through because time is against us already and we don't want to miss the tide. So here, everyone, is a British tar. Enjoy. Nice deep breath. A British tongue is a soaring soul, as free as a mountain bird. His energetic fist should be ready to resist a dictatorial word. His nose should pant and his lips should curl. His cheek should play and his brow should frown. His bosom should heave and his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knock. Ready? Very good. Verse two. His eyes should flash with an evil fire. His brow with scorn be wrung. He never should bow down to a domineering frown on the time of a tyrant's son. His foot should stamp and his throat should growl. His hair should swirl and his face should scowl. His eyes should flash and his breast throat root. And this should be his customary attitude. His foot should stamp and his throat should growl, his hair should twirl and his face should scowl, his eyes should flash and his breast protrude, and this should be his customary attitude. His attitude, his attitude, his attitude. Let's play the drum. Marvellous. Well done, ladies and gentlemen of Home Choir. May I please afford you a round of applause from the entire crew? <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Encore, well, wonderful, wonderful to see you, wonderful to hear you as well, ladies and gentlemen. I do think that we'll have to include, I think at least, uh, uh, Captain Corcoran's song in a future run of Sing and Send. I do think it would make a fantastic video as well. But let's let's talk about that at a future date because we have to set sail because we have some other shores to visit today. If you're around at five o'clock, please do pop over to Choir of the Earth and watch the wonderful concert of Peace on Earth. Uh, we've been working really hard over the last couple of weeks. There's two brand new recordings and a whole bevy of other beautiful music to enjoy. So hopefully see you all there. And then I shall see you on Sunday morning, everyone, for something completely different. No Gilbert and Sullivan, but instead we have Foré, we have Handel. It's going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful sacred scene. So look forward to seeing you then. Now, those of you not well, again, we send all our love to you for a full and swift recovery. Breda, we're thinking of you and sending all our love. Uh, likewise to dear Sue G, and hope she, she is recovering well. And thank you, Terry, for keeping us up to date with her. Those of you getting over COVID, it, it's not an easy time for people at the moment. And we send all our best and big hugs to all of you. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Good luck getting those songs out of your head, because goodness me, they're catchy. They've, they've stood the test of time for a reason. I hope you've enjoyed today, everyone, and we'll see you soon. All the best, folks. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>